people are going to check <coughs> diagnose whether you have we have corona or not that's a diagnosis similarly we are going to check whether program is working or not that's called diagnosis diagnosis is nothing but we are going to debug the program See, there are many tools available in the market which can be used to di- uh, debug line by line we can execute line by line program and see what happens every line okay but if you submit a program what happens it just submitting in a flash in in a in a batch mode if you execute a transaction it's executing an online program in a flash it's executing all even if you have thousands of lines if you have many linked programs or xctl programs still it is going to going to take very less less time it could be 2 or 3 seconds within a second sometimes it is running and we, so if you want to know where I mean how it I mean executes line by line we have something a tools called debugging tools so these debugging tools are very expensive and not available in training mainframe uh, there's a common debugging tool called expurator which is widely used in market in many projects so we have tool called expurator trace master and we have strobe these are some tools available in the market which is going to debug line by line okay we can debug line by line it's very easy we will, so when you debug line by line you will know how the program works what are the sequence in which program executes and what is the data transfer etc but and and some and cdf is a free tool available in cacs or for cacs cdf stands for diagnostic facility it's a free tool the free uh, command available in uh, cacs to debug but cdf is not going to execute line by line it is going to execute cacs command line by line but cobol statements it doesn't execute line by line okay cobol statement like move statements and uh, any uh, add statement compute statement all these are cobol statements so cobol statements it doesn't add it doesn't execute line by line it is going to execute only kicks command line by line but cdf is very helpful okay cdf is very helpful i'm going to tell you how it works just listen carefully so on top left corner okay when you log on c yeah just write cdf so it is going to say terminal this terminal edf mode on okay sometimes it doesn't show also doesn't matter so now you erase this erase a clear water now you type your transaction so i'm going to execute one transaction and see how it is diagnosed line min every kicks command it is going to diagnose okay we are going to have line by line diagnosis so g0 somebody Four four. So it what it does, it is executing a transaction G zero double four. Program is G zero four PGM four. Task ID is seven two double four seven two double four. When the program started first, what is the EAB parameters? CAB DFH EA BLK is a communication area similar to SQL CA. It is automatically added in linkage section while compiling. and in dfh ea blk there are many fields we are going to use eab calon eab aid eab rest mostly in programs so just and we have eab date time etc just see the fields in, in the initially just see the fields you can see eab cal zero okay and it is having eab data set name if you are having visa files etc so just press enter so enter is the key If you want to end the CDF session, press F3. If you want to see the working storage structure, the data in working storage section, press F5. And if you want to keep moving, press Enter. I am going to press Enter now. The first command, very first command in your, uh, I mean in your program is send map, map name, map set, the froms. low values you would have moved low values right that's why it's showing dot length is 137 okay probably 137 it's automatically calculated map set is g04 mps1 we gave free kb erase about to execute command see when eab calon equal to 
what we did we sent an empty map and return these are two commands it executed press f3 so it has sent map again press enter again press enter now send map is done command execution complete send map is done it says eap response is zero press run response normal press enter again the return command return transit with com area length equal to one com area is w's com area we gave x of one right so length equal to one now eap current should be equal to one after this press enter program termination see program is terminated return command stop the execution of program it releases all the resources that's why it's called pseudo conversation it's a false conversation not a real conversation see the task id 70 dollar enter continue edf yes so this is what is the initial screen now user can input data and the user user can take data now press enter so when you press enter what will be the eab callan greater than 0 it should be equal to 1 because com area we gave ws com area which is pick x of 1 so eab callan will be equal to 1 press enter see it's it again program started see did you see task id now change 7252 i told you right even megan also told what is pseudo conversation pseudo conversation is a false conversation it is going to happen in a series of task if it's a proper conversation you can write a program with proper conversation without return command in that case we'll be having only one task in the, the that is not a proper way to write a program because program is going to be i mean held in the holding the cpu time holding the memory everything so this is second task same transaction same program why it kicked off the same transaction because in the return trans id we, re, we wrote the same transaction code it is mapped to same program now it's a new task second iteration it's new task now see the eap callan equal to 1 okay this is a date eap callan equal to 1 now press enter so what is the first kicks command when eap callan is greater than 0 i pressed enter so since we pressed enter it goes to receive process send return first is going to receive map it is going to receive the value into the or oh, abandon circuit abm0 what jagavadi babu program had have abandons now sir i modified that and that's right sure okay i'm going to end the edf session any other program i'll take g254 it's working not available so i'm using g264 now is g264 working owner of g26 id tarun sir that's all so i know it's tarun so i know everyone's id okay that's they are working for a more than a month i have a good memory i mean little memory not no no memory loss tarun are you there yes sir is it working yes sir okay let's proceed with this when eab it's a first iteration eab callan equal to 0 it's going see it's going to stop before the execution of command and after the execution of command also about execute command send map is done press enter send map is complete command execution complete press enter keep on pressing enter return return program terminated see the task number 72458 okay 72458 is the current task number press enter program terminated now we are entering a user is entering some value i'll uh, give some bigger value 10000 i'll give to one lakh 
प्रेस एंटर की आई एम प्रेसिंग एंटर की नौ सी नौ टास्क आई डी इज डिफरेंट सेवन टू सिक्स फाइव ये भी कैलेंडर ग्रेटर दैन जीरो प्रेस एंटर सिंस आई प्रेस एंटर यूजर प्रेस एंटर वी आर गोइंग टू हैव रिजीव मैप अबाउट टू एक्सिक्यूट कमांड आफ्टर सी आफ्टर दिस वॉट इट हज डन इट हज रिसीव्ड द सी टी सी सी टी सी आई बिकॉज इज द इनपुट स्ट्रक्चर Okay, it has received. E B response equal to zero. Response code is normal. After receive, you are going to process. But process, it is not going to show line by line like this because those are COBOL statements. It is going to show only kicks commands. So next kicks command is going to be send map. Send map with data. So it it has calculated, processed, thou ten thousand, ninety thousand, and some zero zero. So again, press enter. It has shown send map. After send map, what is the command? Return. Press enter. Command execution complete. About to execute command. Return command. Program termination. Task ID seven two six five. I am going to press enter again. It's done. First, second iteration is over. Third iteration. Seventeen thousand, or one lakh seventy thousand. Okay, I'll make ten lakhs. Ten lakhs. Again, EAB column is one. This is third iteration. It's a new task ID seven two seven four. Receive. Command execution complete. Send map. Send. Again, press enter. Send map is complete. About execute return command. Program termination. Task termination. Yes. Now I am pressing F, invalid key, F7. See, it's a EA. See the EAB aid, F7. Press enter. Invalid key means we are going to press send a message, right? Invalid key is pressed. Other values it still remains. Message O is updated. Now I am pressing F3. F3 to end the transaction. F3. Press enter. F3 is not working. Okay, just hold on. Okay, now I am pressing F3. EAB ID equal to F3. It's a new task ID. So F3 means it has to send the text, erase the screen, send the text, and return command. Just Q return. Return sends control to CACS. Enter. About to execute the send text message. Send text is done. Enter. So command execution complete. Enter. About to execute return command. Again press enter. Program termination. Task termination. It is done. So CEDF is going to be helpful for you to debug. You have to just write CEDF. Press enter. It will. You will see this message. Sometimes you will not see this message, but still it's fine. Then type the transaction. 